So let's now preview the five applications we'll be building. So here is our Angular 2 weather app. And in this application, I can add a new city. And when I start typing the name of the city, it's going to go out and look, and it has a debounce of a few seconds. And then when I finish the name, we can see that we find the city name, and I can submit it. And this will give us a large object that we get from the Open Weather API. Here I'm just printing the name of the city, the temperature, and the outlook. And then on the sidebar, I have an area to submit new profiles with the name and the city. So we'll say for and Los Angeles. And then when clicking on any of the names, I get the weather printout in the sidebar area. And I'm also able to add more than one city. So here I could type Brooklyn, for example. The second application we'll be building is this TV Watcher app. In this application, we have a carousel. We have some featured shows that we can click on to see their details, which will open up into TV Maze. And then we can also search for shows. And we can search for shows either using this box right here or by clicking on this Find Shows link. So let's say I searched from the search bar. I'll search for Batman. And this is going to go out and it's going to search the TV Maze API and it's going to give us a listing of all the TV shows. Then we're able to click on any of these TV shows and it's going to send us to a TV show details page which is going to display the TV show information as well as the episodes that appeared on the show. The third application that we build will be a chat messenger application built using Node.js with Socket.io. So right here I can type a message into the box and it's going to appear in both browsers. So this one is pretty simple, but it gives us a nice foundation of working with Angular 4 using Node.js. The fourth application that we'll build is a Twitter search and streaming application. And this will be using Node.js as well. So we can type in any search term here. We'll type in JavaScript. And then we can see that we get the tweets populated here in a nice little table. And if I scroll down, I've also included pagination here at the bottom. So I can click this next button and then it's going to populate the next five tweets with 15 total. And then we can also stream in tweets. So I can click the stream JS and we'll search for JavaScript. And as people are tweeting about JavaScript, it's going to populate right here. And the stop button will stop tweets from coming in. And then we also have our GeoNames app. So this app is going to use data from the GeoNames API. So when I click this Load Countries button, it's going to load up all the country data from our API. And then we're able to sort by European countries, by population, and by names as well. And then we can click on any one of these names of our countries. And then we're going to go to a details page that includes the country details as well as a map and a flag. By building these five applications, you're going to learn a lot about coding Angular 2 and above applications as well as working with Node.js.